Thank you for joining us today at hashtag Can you Vote Matter and hashtag Can Minority Vote Matter Awareness Campaign. Today we are very pleased to tell you that we are with Mike Morris, candidate, Green Party candidate for Member of Parliament Kitchener Centre. Thank you so much, Mike, for being with me today. Thanks for having me. It's an honour to have you. It's nice to be asked. So, Mike, can you please tell us a bit about yourself, about how you got into politics, your struggles, and your political work? Sure. So, I first came to Waterloo Region about 15 years ago uh, when I started going to Wilfrid Laurier University. And that was probably the kernel of where I'm at today because that's where I, I studied business and computer science, worked at some high-tech companies, and towards the end of my time in undergrad, started to try to reconcile this climate crisis that we're in the midst of with this business training that I had. And so I wrote a business plan for an organization that became Sustainable Waterloo Region. Mm -hmm. And it took us about five years uh, working with businesses to help them to both increase their profitability, reduce their carbon footprint, and grow the low carbon economy at the same time. And we did that by creating a network, we called it a green economy hub. Mm -hmm. So that any business across Waterloo Region, whether they're a manufacturer or a high tech company, a municipality or, or a utility, could be together as they work towards their shared goals. And they all work towards setting targets, reporting back on their progress, and getting access to this network of support. So I did that for about five years. Mm -hmm. We grew the organization. It was you know, almost 14% of every person who worked in Waterloo Region was working for a company that was part of this green economy hub. And they had set targets to reduce their carbon. There was over, I think it was around 12,000 cars off the road every year as a result of the total commitments that these businesses had made and they were paying fees to do it. And so it became uh, financially self-sufficient over time. And so other communities across the country started coming to us saying, what's going on in Waterloo Region? How is it you've got businesses working towards setting goals and they're actually following through and they're getting access to support? How neat. Could we do that too? And so then I spent about five years working with an organization we created to respond to that interest. We called it Green Economy Canada. And Green Economy Canada's job was to support these hubs, whether it's in Sudbury or Green Economy Kingston, Ottawa, York Region, helping them all take what we've done here in Waterloo Region and then make it make sense in Sudbury and in these different places. And that's what brings me to this conversation with you and to this, this campaign I'm now in, is that while we've had uh, businesses engage, we've seen what, it's, I've seen what it's like when businesses come together to take action and the status quo right now, I'm being told by young people, by scientists, by economists, it's not working. We need to go further. We need to dream bigger. And so I've learned the last 10 years what happens when we dream about what the future could be. And so now that my, you want to call it political work, to me this is really about people and about our community. Mm -hmm. This is about representing people in our community to ensure that we do dream bigger about what the future can hold. Thank you. So, why do you think the youth and minorities will matter? And what mm. steps can be taken to get them more involved in the election process? Well, first of all, I'll talk about youth. Because ultimately, if we think about what scientists are telling us, and what economists are telling us, they're saying that the climate crisis is at a point where we need to cut our emissions in half globally within the next 12 years, even less now. And economists are telling us that people in this country, almost half of Canadians, are on the brink of, of financial insolvency within $200. And so, who has the most to lose if we don't change course on this? Definitely the youth. Totally the youth, yes. And so I think it's so important that we listen to, to youth, young people, millennials, whatever those of us that have the longest time scale to be thinking about, and those of us who have kids and grandkids and nieces and nephews, I think, and if you also look at where other movements have come from over the years, whether it's uh, women's rights or civil rights, who's at the front line of all of those? It's always young people. And so I think it's important for all of us, and particularly someone like myself who's seeking to represent people in our community, to be listening to young people. 
For example, there's a whole campaign right now that a group called Our Time has launched. You can go to our-time.ca where they're saying, they're self-identifying as, as millennials and they're saying we need a Green New Deal in Canada. A massive economic reform at the scale of the challenges we face. So that's why I think young people's voice matters because those are the voices that are on the front line that are, that are, that are speaking truth to power that we, we need to be listening to. Now another part of your question was about minority voices. And this I think is also really important because if you look at the cross-section of business leaders, of political leaders, what do we notice? There's a huge over-representation of people who look like me. And if someone like myself is going to seek to represent a mix of people across our community, well, we are going to need to have those people part of the team and listening to what people with those, with those backgrounds, whether, uh, whether it's different geographies, uh, different ethnic demo demo demographics, as uh, an aspiring representative for people in Kitchener, it's really important that I be sure that I'm listening to those mix of voices. Because you know what happens if, if I'm not? The status quo. And the status quo means an over-representation of uh, a lack of those marginalized and minority voices. Thank you. I would like to thank Mike Morris for his valuable input on the importance of youth and minority votes. Remember, hashtag can you vote matter and hashtag can minority vote matter. It does. It does. Thank you.